Hi all, I'm Jamin Jones with uh, Bite Me Games, also known as Yakasaurus, uh, at Square One Clubs in Sacramento. And I'm here with indie developer Doug Unk, uh, who has developed a game by himself titled The Dying Bite Man. Uh, hello, Doug. Hey. Um, I want to start off by saying I had fun playtesting the game. It was a great game. Awesome game. Yeah, thank and, you. And, uh, yeah, did the video on it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, I have, uh, there's a couple questions written down. There's a couple questions written down, and so, uh, yeah, let's get started with it. Okay, first, um, how would you come up with the name of the game? Uh, so I wanted to combine familiarity with unfamiliarity. So the first part, uh, Badine, I took the first two letters of vampire and combined it with uh, dying, which is to eat. And then uh, the second part I came up with after watching a epic tutorial video of how to make a 2D game in Unreal Engine 4, and they were using Mega Man sprites, so I thought, why not call the game uh, Badine Bite Man? So it's the bite man. The bite man comes from the Mega Man. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Um. So, uh, okay, this is like a qu personal question for me. How? Uh, you are a solo developer. Uh, where'd you get the music from? <laughs> um. So actually, it's not my music. Okay. So I bought it from the Unreal Asset Store. So an asset's basically something someone else created, and yeah. you buy it, and you have the license to use it. Okay, so yeah. the level music and the sound effects are from that asset store. The boss music though is from uh, one of my best friends, Yazik. So he's a he used to be a DJ. So it's from his song uh, "Turn It Up," which is pretty sick if you look it up on YouTube. Uh, that's pretty cool because I mean I really like the music. Good choice. Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah, yeah. Good picking. Um, how long have you been working on the game? Um, it's been about three years. So it's kind of a part-time hobby. I have a full-time job as a programmer, and then I have a wife and baby. So most of the time I'm busy with that. But when I get time, I you know work on the game. Huh. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. So um, I in my video I did up to about um, I like finished level two. Uh, how many levels were there be at release though? Um, there's the intro. There's the two interludes. There's the credit scene, and there's six levels. So it's about two to three hours of gameplay for the normal person. Oh, okay. So yeah, I did about like thirty minutes. <laughs> did, did you get past level two, or you still? Oh yeah, waiting? I did past level two because of the uh, synth I bought. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I like the music on that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the bosses have the same uh, song track from my friend. Oh, it's like one song, but just. Yeah, it just loops and. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so yeah, what inspired you to make a vampire game, though? Um, I'm a big fan of Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, uh, Castlevania: Round of Blood. I want to kind of mix the gothic, you know, atmosphere with some comedy. So like Conquer's Bad Fur Day, and just yeah, kind of like combination. <laughs> speaking of which, last time I was here, I brought a PS2 up here just to play Symphony of the Night on the PS2. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the best games ever made. Yes, definitely. Uh, and we're spending time trying to get the yeah, sword. <laughs> There's a special sword in the game that you can beat the whole game easily. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Yeah, apparently they're um, <laughs> making the, they're like remaking and adding Symphony of the Night plus Rondo of One together on PS4 or something. Okay. Yeah, I, I had that uh down I had that game on the PSP. Oh. <laughs> so I had the Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night and all that stuff. Nice. Mm, two um ones. Okay, uh is there okay, where would we be able to find you on the web to keep updated about the game? Um, www.vadinebiteman.com, www.vadinebiteman.com, and uh, I'm pretty active on Facebook, and although I do have a Twitter and Instagram account, I haven't been using them as much. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, mostly Facebook, and on my own website, I'm pretty active. Okay. Um, uh, is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, so, The Dying Bite Man is coming out October 30th onto Steam for $2, and it's going to be 33% off. Oh, $2. Um, That's a deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and a discount with the 33% off, so mm. it's going to be a good deal. That's a great deal. Um, okay, yeah, it's, um, it was fantastic to meet you. Uh, thanks yeah. for letting me play test the game. And, uh, um, yeah, uh... So uh, anyone who is watching this, 
look out for the game. It's on October 30th, as he said. Keep updated on his sites. Um, yeah, uh, also, uh, you could also follow us on uh, our YouTube page, which... <laughs> yeah, um, so uh, I got, like, playtesting and indie dev uh, interviews and all that. And uh, I'd also like to thank the uh, Square One Clubs for letting us use their equipment and uh, a room of our own to be uh, recording this. And, um, yeah, that's about it.